Hey, yesterday I did a video on page restrict for WooCommerce. The, the idea behind this, okay, is that let's say you're selling courses, uh, course one, course two, course three. You might have something else which is for webinars, live streaming, yoga classes, piano lessons, anything like that. And then maybe something else which is just access to loads of materials and things. Now, no one can access those courses until they buy a product. So you'd have product one, product two, product three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? You buy that and then the user can access the material or the videos or the live stream. It's super, super good and it's free and easy to use. But what if you want to set up membership levels like bronze, silver, gold, premium or anything like that? And what if you now want to restrict access to those pages based on the membership so rather than them paying like a one-off fee for a product, because uh, it is literally just a one-off fee, what if you want them to pay like a monthly or annual subscription to be subscribed to your website? But not only that, what if you want to restrict them to only have access to certain content on the page as well? So they can all access the same page, but there are certain bits like a video, you can't look at that video or view it or whatever unless you are a member. Now to do that, my favorite plugin for that is Paid Membership Pro. So even though I was talking about Page Restrict for WooCommerce, which is a WooCommerce product yesterday, what we're really looking at is Paid Membership Pro. This is free. Do not be fooled by the title which says Pro. It is free, okay? And it is super easy to use. There is a premium version where you got access to loads more stuff, but you can go away and look at that. I'm not here to sell you anything. Pay Membership Pro is free. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that once it's installed, okay, you'll have an area over here called Memberships. And when you go to Memberships and go to Settings, you will then have access where you can now set up your membership level. You can have as many of these as you want. However, please do understand, and I just want to put it back over here, do understand that with this plugin, if you have a bronze level, if someone changes to a silver level, that overwrites the bronze level. Just like if they go to gold, it, it supersedes it. So you could upgrade and downgrade, but the difference between this and the this plugin here, this one, you could buy five products and you can now access those five products. Whereas with the Paid Membership Pro, if you are a bronze member, you can only access bronze stuff. If you upgrade to silver, you can now access the silver stuff. There is a way to get around that in terms of ensuring that you can access the right information. I'll quickly touch on that. So let's just go back over here. Paid Membership Pro, okay? This is where you would set up your new level. So I'm going to just show you really easily how this works, okay? I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to set this one up as basic. Let's just call it basic like that, okay? Now, here's where you would probably put in a description. Go ahead and do something meaningful. Confirmation message, I tend to put something like, hey, thanks for joining up. Please now click over here to access the material or here's the pages you can look at or here's the goodies and the freebies and whatever else you get. Then you decide what is your payment. The payment might be £99. Now, please do bear in mind, you can have free membership as well. So your basic might be free. So leave it as zero, right? Or you might have like your mid, which might be 25 pounds. Then you might have your premium, which might be 99 or whatever you're going to set it as, okay? So you can have free membership as well. And that's the really great thing about this. The other plugin, Page Restrict, you've got to buy a product. This one, you can have different levels of membership. This is really, really good. Um, it's just going to have a recurring payment. So look, if I tick this now... This is going to say, right, every month you're going to pay £99 per month. Or is it going to be every two months? Or is it going to be every um, uh, four months? Sorry, that's four. No, not four months, three months, because it would be every quarter. So if you're expecting to pay every quarter during a year, you go for every three months. And you can also decide on the cycle. So I might say, as membership, you pay, let me just do it here. Right, so there's an initial payment of £15, then after that, you will pay £15 uh, every month, okay, for the next four months. Do bear in mind, though, this does not include the initial payment. So let me just backtrack on this. Let's say you only ever wanted them to make three payments. They start off with 15 
And then they have two more payments of 15. So what you would do is you would say per one month and you would change this to be two because you pay 15 and then for the following two months, you pay 15 again. Does that make sense? Okay, please do refer back to this if you get stuck. But this is only if you're going to have a subscription payment and you might change this to just say, look, there is no billing cycle and every month they pay 15 pounds until they cancel. Plain and simple. And when you are a member or you're using paid membership pro, okay, when the membership account area, there is a page for cancel. It's all set up for you so they can go and cancel their membership. Um, do you want to have a custom trial? Again, this is not a bad little thing as well. So maybe for the first month, you're going to say they pay nothing for the first subscription payment. Now, if you want to add on a delay, say it doesn't kickstart until after 15 days, if you click here for this add-on, and it is a free add-on, by the way, you can go and install this, and there is a video on how to do it as well, so you can add on a delay there as well. That's not what I'm showing you here. Now, you do have other settings as on as well, so you might say that actually I've set this up, but no one can purchase it. So if you're setting things up, but you don't want anyone to purchase anything yet, just go and click that. If it's live, untick it um, and uh, check this to set when membership access expires. So is it going to have an expiry date? So you might do that and say, right, this expires in one year. So that's it. You're allowed access for one year or 30 days or whatever. So you might have a basic membership. And you might say something like, look, you can have access to everything for 30 days. After that, you've got to go up to another level. If you don't go up to another level, then you won't have access again. Of course, people will probably use different email accounts to so watch out for that. But do decide how you're going to set this up. OK, so and that's it. And then what you do is you save the level. And that level will then be visible in your uh, set. We'll go back to, I mean, it won't be visible because I haven't saved it here, but it would be visible here. None of these are sign up because this is all testing purposes. We don't use paid membership pro now. I use a uh, page restrict for products. However, this is really, really good. Now, what is the benefit of this entire plugin? So let's now go to a page. Let's go to this one here. This is a page, right? If I scroll down to say this section here, if I click the section, go to advanced, over here we have an option for paid membership pro. If I click this now, I can now say what kind of membership do you require to access that section? So they won't be able to see that section unless they, if I was, to, I mean, look, I haven't put the basic one in, but I might say, look, you've got to have that membership. But at the same time, you might have, to, I might say you're allowed to have it with that other membership as well. So maybe you've got a section that bronze can see and silver and gold. So I put bronze, silver, gold in there. And then I go down to say uh, this button here. This button can only be accessed by uh, this membership and whatever other memberships I want to do. Basic, I might say only gold can access that. You might have a form. You might have loads of things on your website. I can literally restrict who can see what. So you could have a page that entices the user and then right at the bottom you have the videos for yoga classes. You can't get that unless you're using this plugin. But that's not all. So doing content on our page is great, but what if you want to completely restrict access to a page? Well, when you go to edit that page, not in Elementor, so your normal WordPress edit, okay? So when you edit it, when you scroll down, uh, it'll be on the left-hand side, by the way, you will see require membership. So if I just expand that now, this is where you can tick off what memberships are allowed to access that page. So say you've got a page now that's filled with loads of content, and you don't want to restrict every individual component or section or however you want to do it, column, whatever you want, okay? You can now just tick it off. So you might have free, bronze, silver, premium, gold standard, whatever you want, and you tick them off. And people cannot access that page without having the relevant membership. I can't stress how easy and simple this plugin is to use. Now, remember, okay, I did touch on this one. You've got to buy a product and then you can access the page, okay? But all you've got to do is buy the product or more or multiple products, whatever, and they can access that page. This is great if you want to give users the ability to pick and choose what they want and jump around. This one, though, you have set memberships. So you've got to think a bit more methodically about what can they access. So you could buy a membership and only access certain content and certain pages. 
and you can upgrade and you can still access those content and pages, but now you can access more content and pages. And it is a super, super great, easy, simple way of setting things up. Um, it's free and easy. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.